welcomes all students myself kiran kumar patil working in department of csb engineering kd college of engineering at a, today we deal with course fundamentals of computer science now we study unit number 4 array and pointers in that le first lesson is that array declaration and in its initialization understand importance an array then how to declare an initialization of an array different array types first point is that declaration and initialization of array in c so when you uh, deal with the programming language there are for predefined syntaxes similarly for declare an array there is a syn syntax within that syntax you have to define an array so let us see how to declare an array first always you have to define the data type of that particular variable then you have to provide name of the array and respective size so always you have to provide size in the square bracket and you have to give the semicomma which is like a full stop in our regular english language or we can define array in another way is that data first always as defined as a data type then array name size in first square bracket size 1 then in second square bracket size 2 up to size n it is called a multi dimensional array here we see the two types of declaration for in first type we define one name of the array and in single bracket a single value that is called as a, a single dimensional array while when provide you provide two values or more than one value then it is called as a multi dimensional array for example integer a r r square bracket 5 what indicate what is mean by this so in a r r is the name of the variable having data type integer and under a r r we can save five different values in this manner first row is called as array element array element nothing but data which is we have to store in under the name arr arr now how this values are stored under the same variable so all that value distinguished by indexes so it is called as array indexes so first element is stored at arr 0 its value is 5 then second value is stored at in arr of 1 its values minus 9 and so on so total size of this array is 5 nothing but we can store five similar type of data under the same name called as a arr so here we provide a single value that's why arr is called as a single dimensional array many cases we want to store the data in tabular form so there is a there are some rows there are some columns so how to store the data in the tabular form so for that purpose we take one more example in this manner first we are as per the syntax first we define data type so in this example int int stands for integer is the data type of arr this is the name of the variable first bracket indicate value as a 5 and second value in value indicate as a 4 so what is the meaning of 5 5 nothing but it arr consists of five rows and second value represent number of columns so under the arr variable we can create a tabular form of data having five rows and four columns now how to initialize the value initialization well there are three types of initialization values to the an array first array initialization with declaration when you declare the array at the same time you have to give the values for that particular array so syntax for the same for first you have to de define the data type it is might be integer character float then respective size after that give equal to sign open curly bracket and close curly bracket in between this open and close curly bracket you have to provide va first value com then give a comma second value comma up to 
last value when you all the values are give set in between open and close curly bracket after that you have to give the semicomma which indicates that declaration is over for example here int arr 5 so obvious in last slide already we discussed that what is in the int arr 5 so here we set value as in square bracket first value is 1 then comma second value as 27 third value is 25 then 24 and 0 these are the five values we are going to store into into the arr so if you observe that each value is separated by the comma next part is a type we can say that array initialization with declaration without size so once again data type name of the array in this case you have to there is no need to provide the size of the array then equal to sign and number of values in this case compiler store gives the size or set the size to an array it depends upon how many elements you are going to store under that particular name of the array for example integer arr empty bracket so if you see the in previous case or previous example integer arr 5 so what is the meaning of this arr 5 so five elements we can store under the arr variable so in this case we keep this back square bracket as empty which indicates that this size is set by the compiler if you want to add four elements you can you can add next whenever go for the next execution then user can add five values it is also okay so whenever values are not fixed in to store under the single name or single variable you can keep this bracket as a empty and last part is called as a array initialization after declaration using loop in this case first you have to de initial declare the array after that you have to you can take values from the user for that purpose you have to use either while loop or do while loop so for example in this case we are going to use for loop so syntax of for loop in this manner i integer m is equal to 0 why we set here 0 because array ind index start from the 0 that's why we set m is equal to 0 then how many elements you have to want you want to store under the name of the variable yeah that value you have to set as a condition so we set condition is m less than capital n where n is the capital n is the size of an array then semicomma m plus plus after each iteration m value is incremented by 1 so if condition is true control goes inside the bracket then a particular variable name we are going to save the values these are the three different ways to initialize of an array then if you set a value to an array so how to access that values so integer arr5 is equal to 5 comma minus 9 minus uh, sorry 10 25 11 these values are stored under the variable arr of 5 first value is set at arr of 0 then nothing but 5 then minus 9 10 and so on so these are the indices indexes and respective elements now i want to print a of 0 so here a r r of 0 nothing but 5 when you execute this printf line we get output as a 5 because at 0th index value 5 is stored so if you see the syntax to print each value we have to use in this manner printf Person d which is indicates that data is in, term, in terms of integer type comma name of the variable nothing but arr of 0 so arr of 0 is consists of value 5 that's why we get output as a 5 now suppose i want to print value arr 1 is equal to 20 set value as 24 now initially we set value as a minus 9 now it value going to modify and we get a value as a 24 so in this way we can change each value of an array 
then simple we see a, a simple example which demonstrate how R is going to work. So first obvious you have to add header files here we add two header files as hash include stdr.h and second one is called as a hash include conu.h then void main open bracket and close bracket within this open and close bracket you have to write your respective code. So let's start to write a code for the which demonstrate working of an array. First we define an array having data type integer and its name is a we store five values in the variable a then on simple variable as a n after that we define one variable sum is equal to zero then to take value from the user we want to take a help of the for loop here we set n is equal to zero n less than five n plus plus so what is the meaning of this so n value start from 0 it reached to the 4 and for each iteration n is incremented by 1. Initially n is 0 it compile checks the condition whether n less than 5 condition is true. So compile goes inside the bracket we get one message on our screen printf enter an array element. So when you enter that element that value store in a percent d and a of n now n value is 0 so first value is stored in 0 a of 0 after storing first value n value is incremented by 1 now previously n value was 0 now it becomes as 1 so 1 is less than 5 condition is true that's why we once again enter into the loop we get second time message as enter an element which is going to print its value and so on this happens unless and until condition is not satisfied satisfied once condition is not satisfied this loop going to terminate and we we are going to stop the putting the value under the variable uh, uh, array then after taking the value we are going to print all that values then with the help of print up statement we are going to print the values once again here we have a five values that is why we use a for loop once again n start from 0 it reached to the 5 for each iteration n value going to incremented by 1 and values are going to print. So output of this program in this manner enter an array element when this message displayed on the screen suppose we enter value as a 2 it is stored into the a of 0 then enter an element second element we are going to store as a 6 then 9 minus 5 1 up this 5 after this putting 5 values under the variable a maximum count as a n less than 5 so for loop not going to execute after that we are going to print all that values with the help of the second for loop in this manner so all this is the example which gives idea how elements we are going to store under the array this is the about this like in this lecture we are studied how to declare the array and how to initialize the array thank you